Hello and welcome to my SEO PowerSuite backlinks tutorial, where I'm more specifically going to show you how to find some guest post opportunities. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below in the description. And if you click that, you can actually get free access to SEO PowerSuite. They're very generous when it comes to a lot of their free features and perks. So definitely check that out. Let's begin. First thing, what we want to do is enter in our website. It doesn't have to be yours. Maybe it could be a client's. Overall, this is going to be the website that we want to use when it comes to finding guest post opportunities. I got I'm Nights here. I'm going to click on create. And once that's done, I will be back. So I'll see you in a few seconds in the future. All right. So once you've given that some time to load, we're going to be here. It's just going to naturally show you some prospects that you could possibly take a look at. But more specifically, what we want to do is start a new search. And here you can see we have guest posting top 100 blogs. Find the most popular blogs that accept guest articles, exactly what we're looking for. So we have keywords. You can get keyword suggestions if needed. We have our Google search engine for USA. I'm going to keep that. Tags I'm going to keep for guest posting. Okay, pretty obvious there. So for keywords, it's really up to you if you really want to focus in on get super niche. So for example, something broad could be internet marketing, online business, online marketing, maybe a little bit more niche down like affiliate marketing, social media marketing. Maybe if you really want to dive deeper, like Facebook ads or, you know, Facebook marketing, Facebook groups marketing. Of course, if you really want to get niche like email subject lines, really up to you. I would recommend start off maybe a little bit more broad. You can always focus on a little bit more. For this example, as I talked about with one of them, I'm just going to do affiliate marketing. Hit enter. And of course, you can utilize multiple keywords if you want. But I think this is going to be good. What I want to do is click on the find button. And keep in mind, it's going to take a few minutes or so, depending on you know what you're looking for, how much. This is something that comes along with SEO software, especially if it's going to be going after a lot of data. There can be some wait time. So just keep that in mind so you set your expectations. Anyway, let's click on find. And once it's done, I will be back in a few seconds in the future. So here, I just wanted to show you, it's been at about a minute and a half, and I'm just going to pause it here because I think that's going to be good enough. So just kind of giving you an idea of how long it can take when you go to utilize that. So that can be down there. That's fine. So what we have here are going to be some opportunities. What we can do is if we go here, we can sort by new to old, old to new, domain traffic, uh, and link rank, prospect URL A to Z. I mean, you could just do that if we want. So here we have some B, C, 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 and then of course going from there. Here we have our domain traffic. So the better the domain traffic, the better. For me in general, when it comes to getting guest posts, I like getting guest posts from websites that have at least a thousand traffic, you know, around a thousand, you know, so monthly. So anything over that's going to be fine. If you keep getting guest posts from websites who have zero traffic, in my opinion, that's just not going to do anything. It's just too easy to do. Anyone can create a website, you know, just start getting a link from it. So usually that's going to be by ballpark measure. You can always go higher than that, a little bit lower, but that was just been what works well for me. So a lot of these, you can see that some are going to be very big, like bookshop.org. If we click on this, we can see what's going to be going on here. This is probably not a good site to get a, uh, a guest post, but that's fine. Let's see, planning an affiliate marketing campaign, clickup.com. Okay. And there we go. I don't know if this is, this could be a guest post or just someone who is the author there. Okay. And if you'll notice, not always are we going to have the correct contact emails, but what you can do, usually scrolling down, there's going to be some type of contact here. Let's see. There's a lot of stuff going on. Contact us about us, not contact us, but scrolling through. That's usually going to be the process if it doesn't have it there. And what that also means is that this green arrow, if it's going to be green, it's going to show the contact email. And of course, once again, this isn't going to be it, but sometimes, you know, it'll have a, a little oopsies there <laughs> as this one does as well. This is also click up. So let's go to coin market cap. There we go. Perfect. So advertising at coin market cap. We have it right there for our contact emails. This is going to be by whoever that was five months ago. And of course, this looks like a great one. Looks solid. Uh, 5.1 million in terms of domain traffic. So this is a very big website. Keep in mind some of the bigger ones, you know, the bigger they are, the, the more powerful they are overall. I guess the more links they have, the longer they've been around. Usually they're going to be much more strict about getting guest posts. That's something you have to keep in mind. Okay. Scrolling down a little bit more, deposit photos. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Very big website, Digital Marketing Institute, how to combine your SEO and affiliate marketing strategy written by Dan Hughes. So once again, this is one that doesn't have contact. So same thing when it comes to this business as usual. I like the fact that you can actually just click on it. It will show you that and you don't have to open it in a new window, which is always cool. So let's look for one that's maybe not 
as massive. So let's use this, like 1.7 million traffic. In video, solid software. Okay, what is digital marketing? So this is someone from NVIDIA. No, thank you. And of course, contact, looking for it just very quickly. You know, like support, email us. There you go, that's a way of doing it. And there we go, of course, we have our contact email. So I've actually done a few reviews and demo tutorials about them. So like, for example, let's say we like that. What we can do is just click on right and we can go to move to prospects. prospects. Let's just do one prospect. So if we go over here, we're now gonna have them there. We have tags for guest posting. And of course, there's some cool things that you can utilize with this. For example, if we go to preferences, we have prospect management and of course, anchor settings. This is something I talked about in a previous video where say if you get a link, what you can do is you add it in and anytime you have a new anchor, what you can do is just put like, you know, best software. Let's say that was your anchor text, okay? Let's click on okay. Let's click okay. So now what we can do is if we go here and we right click, we can do change anchor text. And this is the one I just added in. I'm gonna click on that and do okay. Now, what we can do from there is if we double click, oops. Okay, same thing. Go to backlink here and you'll notice that this is gonna be the anchor text. And of course, if we actually got a guest post here, this will actually go through and verify it for you just to make sure that it's there, everything is good. And that's a way how you can actually build up your prospects, go through, you know, check the, uh, make sure your link is there, verify and so on and so forth. That's how you can kind of build up a little, I guess you could say not a cheat sheet, but an overview instead of like a CSV file. You can do it right on through here. And then of course, go back to search for prospects and utilize the same. I'm just gonna click off there. So that's uh, stop going. So keep formally Infusionsoft. I know they changed their name. So this one looks good. Leads bridge, 20.3 thousand in terms of domain traffic. We don't have any contact emails, but of course we know how to do that. Let's go down a little bit more. So maybe if you're gonna find it a little bit harder to get one on, you know, uh, something that has one point, oops, something that has 1.7 uh, in terms of domain traffic monthly. Let's go up here. Resources, webinars, help center. Okay, and if they don't have anything, you can always reach out and see, you know, where their contact's gonna be. Help center, search for an answer. And let's see, getting started, troubleshooting. A lot of this is for, let's see, about us. Let's do about us. Sometimes they'll have emails in here, our strategic partners and so on and so forth. There you go, contact us. That's another way of doing it. So that's booking a demo and then just contacting us. So contacting us, excuse me. So if you had something that you need to send that way, aside from guest post, whatever it's going to be. Let's look at another one that's maybe not gonna be as high in terms of domain traffic. Printify, 351,000. This is good, five must read books for beginner affiliate marketers in 2023. So not only is it being able to, you know, find what you're looking for here in terms of the great spots where you can utilize a guest post, keep in mind your outreach game has to be pretty solid too, okay? That's a completely different topic. This is more about finding your guest post opportunities. Okay, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten the same cut, copy, paste thing over and over again. They pretty much get insta deleted. Um, System, I know they do a ton of linking. They're all over the place, but uh, you could probably reach out to them. They're going to be somewhere. Contact, that's their blog. Anyway, same thing. Let's say this. How about this? Tech Bullion. Okay, and there we have our, our what's it called? Our specific emails. This one looks pretty good. Looks like a standard guest post. Not a whole lot going on there, but around 10,000 for domain traffic, pretty good. Once again, we can right click on this, move to prospects, one prospect. And of course, that's just doing something funky. That one can't be reached. And it's the same thing here. Once we reach out to them, you can actually reach out to them utilizing email in SEO Power Suite if you wanna do that, or you could just utilize it outside, like maybe just copy their uh, prospect email, paste it in the Gmail, Yahoo, you know, your business email, whatever it's going to be, and you can go from there. That's really gonna be up to you. But overall, that's gonna be the, the very quick process when it comes to being able to find guest post opportunities. However you wanna do that is gonna be up to you. I think the biggest variables here are gonna be the keywords that you utilize. For example, I just did affiliate marketing. You can really go broader than that. Internet marketing, online business, entrepreneurship, or you could look for specific sections of that, like list building, uh, email marketing, you know, Facebook advertising. It's really going to be up to you, but I hope you got a good idea of the walkthrough and process 
when it comes to finding some guest post opportunities, it's pretty simple to do, especially for the fact that once you enter in your keyword, you get a lot of decent prospects that you can potentially reach out to. And of course, go back and forth where you can finally land those guest posts and those juicy links. My name is James. I hope you got some value out of this once again. And if you want to check them out, I will leave that link down below in the description where SEO Power Suite does come with free access. Thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.